hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how we can use adaptive icons for our android app so adaptive icon allows the launchers to use some animations and transitions for the icons so for this we have to go to our rest folder and you can see inside the drawable folder there are two files which is the launcher background.xml and the launcher foreground.xml so these two files defines the default background and the foreground file of the icons and these two files are defined inside the mip map folder under the ic launcher.xml as the background and foreground of the icon so if we want to create a custom icon we have to overwrite these icons so let's do this to make this at first we have to go to our drawable folder right click on it and create a new image asset so basically for this project i am going to use these two files as our background and foreground so let's create here i'll keep the name and the layer name as it is because i want to override the previously defined icon so you can select any type of asset image clip art or text you can select any clip art from here as you wish and you can also select any text for your icon like this okay but in this example i am going to use the image so i'll click on image and select one from here we have to find our foreground file here I'll select it and click on OK. So our foreground file is now ready. We have to trim this so it fits inside the circle. Now we have to resize that. That's it. One thing you have to make sure is that your icon should not go outside of this black circle. It's a very important part. It's called the safe zone which you can see here so now we have to go to our background layer and keep everything the name and the layer name as it is and you can select the asset type color if you want to set any color you can choose it from here if you want to use an image like me then go here and select the background image from here I'll find the background that's it click on ok and that's our icon should look like we don't need to use the trim and resize here now click on options and keep everything as it is and click on next here it says that it's going to override some files but we are okay with that so we'll click finish and that's it our icon is now ready let's run our app and see what happens so as you can see our icon is now like this which we have defined that's it 